this video is for all you people out there that uh, either want to get free internet or are having problems transmitting the, their wireless internet far enough or well enough to get a good connection. Now, as you see here, just got a regular laptop. This is a USB uh, adapter. I got it taped onto this little socket thing it comes with. Basically, it's just a USB extension cord. Um, now, I use a program called Network Stumbler. I find it's the best for finding. Jeez, uh, I can't talk today. It's the best for finding signals. Now, let's see if I can. The camera just doesn't have good focus. But as you can see, I'm picking up three networks there. One of them, actually two of them, for, from in, in my own home. Now, if I take this adapter here, you know, just a standard USB stick adapter. Now I am up quite high. Stick that out the window and bang. Look at that. Now I have all kinds of networks. Now of course, you know, most people figure this out, you know, on their own. You know, you move around your thing and your uh, antenna and obviously you get different signals and you get some better than others and a lot of time you know if you're in a good spot like me I mean this doesn't work for everybody if you live in the bottom of a hole this isn't going to work but if you live on top of a hill like I do in a good populated area you know you're going to get quite a few like how many do I have here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve right now now I can also take this, just little things, flipping it around, I brought another network, moving it, I brought another network, every time you hear that noise, every time you hear that noise, another network is being found, now, that's all fine and good, well, it's picking up even more, and more, but though that's all fine and good, you know, most people aren't as lucky as I am to live in a spot that this will work. So, I also have another secret weapon. That is, if I can get this friggin' window down. Ow! <laughs> Alright, and this here is my secret weapon. If you've ever heard of a Wi-Fi antenna, that's exactly what this is. Now, this is going to be tricky with one hand, but you just take the USB adapter, cut a hole in the center of the Wi-Fi, or, well, it's just a strainer. Now, I'll put the up so I can get the strainer in there. There we go, okay. See so yeah, it? Just turns it into a big parabolic dish. Now you take that, stick that in the window. Let's see. Now there is a ton of networks. And this is really just the beginning. I can fine tune it by, there's another one, turning it around, just pushing it in and out, sometimes moving it, as you can hear it's still picking up more and more network. I find for these Belkin adapters, upside down works the best. Now my window doesn't permit me to put this straight up and down, so sometimes I even just wander around with it, now there's a blanket up, I might catch something through it, maybe not.
go. So, I now have, holy crap, I have quite a few. And that's not quite all of them. And there it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. And twenty five oh and twenty six. So I went from getting three networks to getting about twelve networks to getting thirty six networks. So as you can see, just a simple this is a large strainer which works much better and it's also a uh double weave, like it has heavy gauge metal on the bottom side, oh, another network, uh, and thinner steel mesh on the inside, which creates actually a bit finer of a mesh and seems to catch signal better. Now, I did try this with a smaller one, and I had similar results, but the bigger it is definitely makes a difference. But you want to make sure it does actually, like, is like a strainer, because if you use something like a pot or something solid, though it collects the signal, it also collects a lot of other signals, and you have a really hard time getting any kind of connection because it, you know, just collects all the noise. Anyways, I hope this was somewhat informative to some people, but uh, just for, uh, you know, wondering maybe how far you can pick up a network with this. Um... Uh, let's see if this will focus enough. Yeah, I can barely see it just up there. There's a just the the point of land right up there, and there's actually a bunch of sailboats just around the end of there. If you can see that, that's actually where I can pick up a wireless signal from. It's a good six or seven kilometers away, so. I think that's pretty damn good, and I can actually connect to that as well from that distance. Though I do drop the signal quite often, it does work, which is amazing. Anyways, use responsibly, because in some places they may actually give you hell for doing this. Well, they might do it here, I don't know, but I use it. It's always good in a time of need. <laughs> All right, everybody.